AT&T Bank Stadium is about to begin a $430 million renovation project. It says will enhance the fan experience at games. But not everyone agrees the fan experience will be better. In fact, hundreds say with this change, their fan experience will never be the same. WBR2 News' Janae Wright spoke to Ravens fans who have permanent seat licenses or PSLs, meaning they have been sitting in the same seats maybe for over 20 seasons. But not anymore, Janae? Not anymore, Kelly. Some of them are trying to be optimistic about the situation, but many I spoke with say this is heartbreaking because these seats meant the world to them and their families. Every one of the members of the flock is going to be uh, is going to have an enhanced game day experience from these renovations. Ravens president Sashi Brown made that claim back in December when the new renovations for the M&T Bank Stadium were first revealed. Part of the renovations is the new West End Zone suites and club level, which offers seating right on the field in front of the end zone. The problem is those seats are already taken. And in January, fans who sit in the West End Zone say they got the worst call they could imagine. Their permanently licensed seats are going away. The end zone is a different class of what we choose. And after you've been with doing something for 25 years, it's like losing a puppy, a dog that you raised for seven, eight, 10, 12 years. It's in your heart. Fans tell me sitting in the West End Zone gave them a unique experience you can't get anywhere else in the stadium. From player interaction to watching game-winning touchdowns happen right in front of them, all while making lifelong memories. Memories they will no longer be able to create. But this, it's different. It's 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 the event. It's the tradition. It's family. It's it's more than the game. Ted Vlahoyanis would take his daughter to a game for her birthday in October each year, and in 2012, something special happened. Ravens made a come from behind win, and on their last kickoff, the ball bounced in the end zone, and I reached up and caught the ball. The fans, you know, the whole section's going crazy because everyone knows us. So a guy comes to take the ball, everyone's screaming, no, don't give it to him. And I told him, I said, look, I said, um, you got to say the magic words. And he says, I'll give you another one. I'm like, great. In 2021, he reached out to the Ravens to see if he can get an autograph. I'll take the ball with your daughter's name and I'll get it signed. And two weeks later, she calls me up and says, I got the ball. Here it is. And then on her birthday uh, during COVID, I gave her the ball with Justin Tucker having signed it. And that's the ball I caught. She was sitting next to me uh, when that happened. It's the exact type of memory Ted says cannot be had in a different part of the stadium. We reached out to the Ravens who sent a statement saying in part, with those renovations that will come online in 2025, certain fans will be impacted. We have a plan in place that will accommodate every fan whose seats will be affected. Every fan will have the right to retain a seat in the lower level. We are already in communication with all impacted fans and will work closely with them to ensure they all receive a great solution. Stuart Cook, who has been bringing his sons and grandson to the games for decades, says he doesn't agree with the decision. Where those seats are $500 a year more, are they going to accommodate us and give us our old price? Because, I mean, that's, they can't, you know, they're basically forcing us to go to more expensive seats. Robert White says he also thinks the Ravens should come up with a better solution. I just hope to be around the people that I drive five and a half hours to be around every week. Um, I hope the Ravens do something to compensate us financially uh, because, you know, the reality of it is they are going to make millions of dollars more per season by taking these seats and it's taking something away from the fans. They say that something is the memories, moments with friends and family they've had for years in the West End Zone. And at this time, it is unclear how many sections and rows of seats will be removed. Now, renovations for the West End Zone portion of the stadium will begin in 2025, giving the fans one last season to enjoy their seats.